Hey guys, my name is Todd Harris. I'm one of the co-founders of High res Studios and I spend about 50% of my time these days on Paladins. So super excited to talk with you about Paladins and uh, the game coming to closed beta on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Hello everyone, my name is Rory Newbro, the lead designer on Paladins, and I want to send you guys a sincere welcome to Paladins in both Latin America and on the console. Welcome Latin America community. Um, speaking for Paladins, for our console community, both for the Xbox and PlayStation, my name is Thomas Holt. I am the art director for Paladins. So Latin America is one of our biggest communities. We've always loved the passion and spirit that comes from Latin America. And we know this from our experience in Smite, uh, bringing those players over into our, our fan base and allowing them to play Paladins. And we're excited to see all the fan art and, and the community grow bigger and bigger down there. Um, and we're hoping to see more and more coming from Latin America in the future. So for Paladins, unlike Smite, we were designing for both consoles from day one of development. That affected a few things. Number one, the controls. So when we designed the champion, we're thinking about how they will be comfortable to control uh, using a controller. Number two, the user interface. Again, unlike our previous game, Smite, with Paladins, we wanted a cohesive user interface from the beginning that would look great on that TV set when you're playing from a couch. And uh, number three, the type of gameplay as well. We know there are Xbox One and PlayStation 4 fans who really love their shooters, and so we designed different characters with those player types in, involved, uh, in mind. So whether you want to be a deliberate uh, sniper or a run and gun assault person, whether you want to look and aim down sights or not fire from the hip, we have designed our characters with the console players in mind. We're expecting a lot of players coming in for the closed beta, and we're going to be giving out a lot of keys for folks that are really interested in playing Paladins on console. As with PC, we touched ground very early with the community to get their feedback and allow them to help shape and direct the development process for Paladins on PC. So on console, we'll be doing the same thing. So there's already a lot of folks in the alpha for Paladins that are giving feedback on how the controller scheme works, how the aim values work, and how that all comes together for Paladins. And we'll be expanding even further on closed beta through open beta. We're pretty excited about how Paladins is playing on console specifically. Uh, the experience is, is unlike none other, and we think that we really have something that people can enjoy. The number one best thing about Paladins on console is, of course, it's free. You know, there are not too many options uh, for free-to-play first-person shooter games on, on console. So uh, we think that's what's going to get people in the front door. And then in terms of what keeps people playing, we think it's going to be the deep character customization and progression. So with a lot of shooters, you play the game the way the team designed it, but you can't really mix it up as a player. One of our design goals with Paladins was letting you customize your play style. So we do that with legendary cards. You can really customize the way you play. You can build a deck. You can purchase items in the game. You can really mix it up. And similar with cosmetics, we have a lot of pieces, parts, so you can uh, customize your character visually as well. Well, the Paladins art style went through a lot of different iterations, the same as our gameplay uh, early in pre-production. Uh, some of the main tenets that we knew we wanted, though, was ease of readability for gameplay, and we knew with our target audience and wanting to big international community that performance was a big focus, and that kind of led us to our simplified, uh, visually stylized uh, art that you see in the game today. Um, we do actually have... Um on the later stages of the game, we do have the Refer a Friend program that allows you to send out invites to your friends on either platform to make sure they can join in on a match with you. Uh, so there will be opportunities for you to share the game with your friends. We get a lot of questions about transferring accounts since we have a big player base on PC. And at this point, I can say we are actively talking with both Microsoft and Sony about what is possible. We certainly would like to support some sort of uh, limited time account copy. We were able to make that happen with Smite and we're talking to the platforms to see uh, what will be possible for Paladins. We learned a lot from the Smite development on console. Uh, it was one of our first games coming to console and there are a lot of lessons there that we've already taken over to Paladins. Um, and as I mentioned, we did actually build Paladins from the very, very beginning, the onset of development with console in mind from the lessons that we learned from Smite. 
We're quite confident that the lessons we've learned there will apply to Paladins and allow us to really provide the best experience there and grow the community uh, with the console players that are out there. It's important for us to keep price is consistent between PC and console. So the prices will be the same for the PC audience and for the Xbox audience and the PlayStation 4 audience. Well, on the Paladins team, as art director, I'm actually, I deal both with the 2D concepts uh, as well as the 3D team. So we actually, on the art team, uh, stay involved and, and take the concept all the way from when there's the first idea, uh, kind of mood boards and reference uh, to 2D concept, all the way through 3D modeling and, and then animation rigging VFX and actually into game, uh, which has helped to make that transition really well. Uh, and then working with great team of artists and, and really just well-seasoned professionals has allowed us to make sure that that idea and that initial concept and the thing that we're really, really excited about actually translates over and, and ends up being kind of translated into game in a good way. So at this point, we're focused on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. We're always looking at, at new platforms such as the Switch. A bunch of us are excited to, to play the Switch, um, but no additional platforms to announce at this time. Yeah, so Paladins is interesting because it's a complete new fantasy world. So there, there is no Latin America, there's no North America, there's no China, there's no Europe or anything. So we don't have the earth to kind of base on, but everything we want, we want it to resonate with people and we want that believability. And so we pull from cultures all over the world. Uh, Latin America is definitely a big part of that. Uh, we definitely are constantly looking uh, for where to pull from and what to pull from for both the architecture, for world, for environment design, as well as our characters, our abilities and our skins. In terms of content that's inspired by a geography, we will definitely look into that. We tend to not do as much exclusive content um, that's region-based just because we are building a global community, but we will definitely look to Latin America for inspiration uh, of content, and I think uh, that'll be very good for the team. In terms of console esports, uh, for a long time competitive Shooter players on console have been locked into one platform or another. They're either playing Xbox or they're playing PlayStation. But with Paladins, what we're going to do is actually bring together the best team on Xbox One and they will face off in a LAN environment against the best team on PlayStation 4. So finally we get to see what's better, blue or green. I look forward to that. Well, with Smite, um, it's based on mythology. So it is based on the real world. And so we wanted it to be grounded. We wanted it to feel like it was kind of a fantasy version of Earth, um, and, but taken into the, to the gods, to the mythology and into the area, both for environments and then obviously you know, for the gods of these different cultures. Uh, Paladins is different. It's a whole new world. It's a, it's a little bit more freeing and the fact that we can kind of do these crazy, crazy things and we can have this world that it, has only lived in our heads uh, before that. Uh, on the art direction side, uh, Smite has a little bit more of a realistic, higher detail uh, to it. Paladins, we've taken a more simplified approach, and that's mainly because of the gameplay. Uh, in a MOBA, uh, you can take in kind of more information. Your camera angle is a third-person action camera angle. Uh, for an FPS, we needed stuff to instantly read, to be simple, and, and make sure that the focus was pulled to the things you actually care about uh, and that you need to react to uh, within the gameplay. Thank you so much for checking out Paladins, and we want to give a, a big thank you out to those out in the Latin American community that are trying Paladins out for the first time. Uh, we think that the console experience will be exactly what you're looking for. So for everyone in Latin America, we welcome you to join Paladins. Uh, today, when you're seeing this video, it's available uh, in closed beta, and uh, folks who want to jump in and play today can do that. We're actually running a, a sale, 25% off, they get a Founders Pack and they'll get immediate access into the game and they'll get every champion that we release from now and through the end of time. So uh, you're future proofed if you want to jump in today. If you want to wait, the game uh, will be free to play and so after we exit the closed beta process we'll welcome you on board as well. All right, well thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate uh, you guys taking the time. Uh, the Latin American community is huge to us. Like I said, international is a, is a big focus for Paladins. Really excited to have you guys as part of the realm, and I look forward to playing with you guys on console.